All right, ever more in critical cuts, ever more important cuts. Now, when your sawdust looks like this, uh, you're doing pretty good. Okay, so I'm not making toothpicks, but it may resemble that. If you could tell, I got this C-clamp right here holding the level in place. Right, because if I don't have to hold the level while I'm pushing, then I can concentrate on not cutting my fingertips off. Let's see how it goes. Okay, yeah, hopefully you guys stuck around for the whole video because there's one other thing I want to talk about here and that is this aluminum square that I have clamped to the fence. Okay, the square is not clamped down to the table and that's causing it to sit at a slight angle. And so the square isn't square to the table. And in this case, it's not right there. See how I'm pushing down on it? Okay, that gap right there, It's uh, it could be critical, but in this case it's not because I'm not working off a blueprint. I'm just making it up as I go along. But what you're going to do if you find yourself working on a project similar to this and in this uh, type of situation, watch the wood. It'll kind of tilt right there. See that? Okay, so in this case... The simple solution is pick one surface or the other to key off of. So you're going to either push down against the table or push sideways against the square. And I chose to push sideways against the square. Now, once you've uh, made that decision, you have to use the same surface on all your cuts. right? So on the next cut, if I push down against the table, it will slightly alter the angle of this cut. And then the dimensions won't be uniform. And when I glue it together, the corners won't match up. Okay, and then that would be an embarrassing uh, error on my part. And you always want to avoid embarrassing yourself. So the way to avoid that is to always key off the same surface on all your cuts. Uh, okay, I hope that helps. All right, thanks. Have a good day.